Hey guys, how's it going? This is Park. Today, we're going to talk about church news. Uh, you know, my full-time job is church production, and weekly, we do church news. Uh, these videos are very... How can I how can I explain it? I don't want to say repetitive, but there's a certain formula. You know, this is not a creative monster. This is not a creative uh, video where you get to explore different things. You know, there's a format, there's a deadline, there's a structure, uh, and there's just so many recurring elements to it, and there's so many new ones. So it is, it is a creative form of video, but you know, creating church news. Um, it's something that really puts you on a different level than like a freelancer, uh, video editor or photographer, because um, in that scenario, you know, you're creating a one product for a client and you're creating like a specific vision, say for like a conference or for like a wedding, you're creating like that look. But church news is recurrent, you know, and it needs to be fresh every time, but also maintaining uh, those elements, the base elements that are going to be recurring so people know it's church news, it's not just like different every week. This project, I would say it's the best project for a new videographer or someone who's barely starting uh, in editing and doing creative work. Doing some project like church news or any, in any aspect, just some sort of like recurrent blog or, you know, just something that's recurrent and it has to be new and old at the same time. It has a deadline and it contains every aspect of design, basically. Um, this is like high protein bar. This is like the carrots and greens of the meal. This is not ice cream, you know, this is not uh, a snack. This is the hardcore food that's gonna grow you into into a consistent and fast editor. Um, it's helped me throughout the years. I believe that without this project in my personal life, I wouldn't be as efficient as I am uh, in editing. I believe editing, it's uh, my forte. You know, I can create videos real quick. And I think Church News is the thing that has helped me get to that. Um, and we'll, we'll go through it, you know, and I'm just gonna go through this video and kind of break down the points and the elements and, and show you why Church News is the most important project that I've worked at. So let's start. You see, so, so far in that intro, I'm gonna break it down really, really good. In that intro, you can see so many elements. In this intro right here, you can see uh, we have a two camera setup, so you're already working with your videography. You have um, these little graphics out here and the name text. You're working on graphic design and composition, um, color correcting, music. We already have music in the background. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up, Church? Hey, come on, you're here. Welcome. We're so glad that you're here. Here's a little bit about what's going on at church this week. This is a video montage with graphics, a lot of video elements, on music. Fourth, we are a so, very so far, a let's see, in less than 20 seconds, we already have video production, uh, lighting, color correction, music, um, their microphone, their sound, their local sound. We have a video montage. We have, I mean, that's, that's just six elements in graphic design. The just six elements in less than 20 seconds. And a lot of people focus years or months or huge, huge projects to just like graphic design, just like sound, just the like color correcting, or they just do a full project with like motion graphics. You know, um, all of these elements are, are part of like major scale videos. And in less than 20 seconds, we have everything combined and it has to flow. It has to be like high energy. The moment he starts, you've got, you've got to be able to hear the music, but the voice has to overpower it. And then when he introduces it, kind of like the video montage, the music has to like kickstart, has to be high energy and it has to attract the viewer, you know, because we're going to have, let me see how long this video is. This video is two minutes and 30 seconds. You got to have people's attention in less than a minute. 
because in less than 30 seconds is what I'm saying. Um, because if not, like all the news, by the time people are focused, they're not gonna know what's happening, you know? Um, so yes, in less than 20 seconds, we do the introduction and then we jump into the video montage because it's the attention getter, you know? The video montage is that creative element that if people see a person there and they're introducing themselves, they're kind of like, well, I don't know who that is. Um, I don't know what they're gonna say. If it's a new person specifically, if it's someone who's already been in the audience um, recurrently, they know church news, they want to know what's going on. But someone who's new is like, okay, what, what, what's, what am I going to get from this? Um, the video montage gets them right away. It has to be high energy. Hey, what's up, Let's church? check it out. Come on, you're here. Welcome. We're so glad that you're here. Here's a little bit about what's going on at church this week. On August 4th, we are having a very special Bring a friend service. These are our favorite services because we invite all the community. So you see, we jump back and forth from cameras to kind of like break the pattern. You know, you don't want person to just keep looking straight at the camera and then it gets repetitive for the viewer. So you want to break the camera so those angles keep people's mind active. Every time there's a camera switch, your mind gets a little jump start. You know, like one of those uh, defibrillator things at the hospitals. You know, every every camera switch is another jump start. Like, okay, I gotta refocus. Okay, I gotta refocus. Okay, I gotta refocus. And that's that's what the video cuts are for. Then going back to the text, you know, the text has to be visible. You're not gonna get too crowded because you're not doing a graphic. Sometimes we do lower thirds just to bring the attention to specific info. Sometimes we do a full graphic, uh, which is kind of what you're gonna see right here. Right here, daughters. So then you go to a full graphic also to break out the attention. All every, everything about this video is, is to kind of break out the break the patterns and showcase uh everything, every everything that you can do visually to maintain people's attention. You know, you want to do camera switches, lower thirds, full graphics, music changes. Uh you want to do all that recurrently, that way uh, your viewers always uh, attempt. Okay, church, we're so excited for baptisms. Here's another one. This is a motion graphic, uh, basically the, for the baptisms. So this is a Photoshop layer graphic, and I can tell it's like one, two, it's like three, three layers in this graphic. Um, the Photoshop, obviously, you export it together, but once you put a graphic there in a video, it's kind of gonna get stale real quick. It's gonna get like, okay, like what are we doing? Um, I see the graphic. Let's move on. Where's the guy speaking? So what I did in this specific um, this specific graphic is I separated the three layers. You know, the one is the water, then you have the text, and then you have the logo. Um, so with the, playing with those three graphics, you can get a really cool visual moving um, that's going to kind of catch the people's attention for about like five to ten seconds, and that's all you need to go into the next. You know, um, people are going to be seeing the water graphic. Um, I'm rotating it a little bit. You're rotating it uh, and zooming out. That way you can get this like water 3D with the text. You know, the text and the graphic is not one thing. It's two different layers. So the text is not moving. The text is stationary. The graphic is rotating and zooming out. That way you get this 3D motion. And then the text uh, and the little logo, uh, you could give it some motion kind of to separate it. I, I think this one is together. It's probably just two, two, two layers. And you can create that effect. If you put three layers, you might get something better. You might get like too crazy. So just um, do it accordingly to what you need. But always separating the text from the background graphic is going to give it a really cool 3D motion. Uh, you're going to catch people's attention once again for about five to 10 seconds, which is all you need for this, for this element. You see in the text here, it's zooming in, zooming in, no, it's zooming out, so it's getting small. For this one right here, um, I also, you know, once you finish the big graphic, you put all that uh, center text, you put it on the right lower corner, that's a stamped, you know, that way when people finish looking at the graphic, uh, they hear the information and they're also looking at it, they don't forget about it, and then you have more time to kind of remember the information. Services are 
Okay, then you're gonna finish up again with your outro, swipe, video montage, high music, and this is your transition to your live event. Okay, so this is one. There's another one right here. We got Oscar. Uh, this one we're using a white wall, and you can see the difference. You know, like it's very plain. It's very, it's very news. Uh, we use it a lot. We love it. Um, we just want to break it up every once in a while. You know, you don't want the same background every time. Uh, the white, it's clean. It's clear. You can go to it anytime. You know, if your location of your church or your job, if you have a, a good wall or a back wall, um, but you can light up pretty well, you can have your subject. It's something that you want to use recurrently. You know, if you don't have a place with natural light, you want to use a studio version. This was another setup we did that was in our control room with Jennifer. Uh, personally, this is my favorite because you get this entire really church concept, the church news. I, uh, I mean, you got the, the big studio wall with all these TVs, all this tech. You can see it. it's very studio, you know, it's very news. I love it. It's my personal favorite. Uh, once again, we, we try to switch things around consistently so we don't repeat uh, the look over and over and over, but you, I can use this, um, you know, every, like two, three times a month and, and it'll be perfect. It'll be perfect because it just gives it that environment. It gives it a news environment. A lot of people love it. I love it. And you get some really cool light too from the back. Uh, we're using right here, we're using, let's see. We're using the 50 uh, millimeters lens on the Canon. It's perfect, and you can see if you zoom in enough, or if you close now, you, you don't zoom in. In this setup, we're using the 50 millimeters uh, lens on the Canon, and I believe it's perfect in this setup because you can see the beautiful blurred background, and we have all these computers turned on, and they have their own graphics and all these colors, and, and the 50 lens, it's perfectly uh, focused on her, and just at a very short distance, you can blurt out the whole background. So the 50 millimeter lens is perfect for this type of uh, recordings. You got the video montage. And you see, this is another way we break it down. So in the previous video, the baptisms, uh, I had the motion graphic moving. In this video, I created a little video montage with baptisms and it kind of captures the people differently because we're announcing this for a full month. So not every week that it happens, people don't just think it's repetitive. They just get to see a graphic one week and then they get to see examples and videos of others, and it's perfect. So with church news, you always want to break it, break it up. You know, this is what I meant in the beginning with uh, the old elements and the new elements. You know, just having this um, this announcements, for example, the baptisms in in two different weeks or in a full month because we did we did four weeks announcement uh you get to announce it in different ways one week you could do it just with the voice in a lower third second week you can do a motion graphic and kind of like give us this little cool tone people are getting more into it third week you know you do a little video montage with before uh with footage from before uh fourth week you know you go back and and just repeat one of those and you're gonna have this fresh element to it every time announcing the same thing you know this is the power of this sort of videos and recurrent videos that you get to reshape um, these little elements that just give us a freshness. You're not just repeating it. You don't want to repeat it because if you announce something like this event for a full month and every week you get to see the same footage or the same graphic, you know, I mean, sometimes you have no other option, but, you know, I just showed you three different ways that you can do it differently. And it's all like super simple, you know, lower third could be one, full graphic, second one, video montage, third one. You don't get to spend no extra time. You know, you have all your elements already in your project. You just like um, hide it every time you're gonna export it a different way. And I think um, that's a great way to have variety in your church news. Change it up as you go with all these different announcements. That way you can have a really uh, varied church news or just announcements or like a vlog, you know, just change it up, you know, never do the same thing over and over. Um, that way it's not repetitive, just changing angles, uh, record two cameras. There's so many things that you can do to make it better, make it look good, make it look fresh every time. 
Uh, so this is it. This is my take on church news. I don't think it will be the last time I talk about church news because, like I said, this is such a huge scale project uh, in such a minimal amount of time. You can announce 10 different things, 10 different video projects. Instead of having 10 different promos, you put them all in a two minute video. This is a huge project. I would really recommend that you come up with a way, even if you're doing uh, vlogging or if you're doing video production for a personal level, or if you're doing uh, something for a coffee shop, if you're doing uh, some whatever project it is that you're working on, create a weekly format where you can continue to grow weekly. Give yourself a deadline. Put yourself a lot of projects in, in, this, in this little two minute context, and you'll see how quickly you're gonna learn all these tools, all these elements, your speed as an editor, it's gonna increase super, super quickly. And you're gonna, you're gonna sharpen all of those elements. You're gonna know how to switch things on the go real quick, color correction, sound, text, graphics, video montages, everything, everything. I can even continue to talk about how, how important this project is. Um, give yourself a project like this and trust me, you're gonna grow. Uh, this is it. I hope you guys like this video on church news. Anyone who's doing church news or any, anyone who's doing any type of uh, news format videos, uh, hit me up in the comments or in DMs if you have any more questions uh, about church news format. And eventually I'll talk more about it. Uh, thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time.